Welcome to the show. We appreciate you being on tonight. Thanks for the invitation, Joe. Okay, let's talk about the rat of the week. Why is Bear Corporation the rat of the week? Internal documents show that after this company positively, absolutely knew that they had a medication that was infected with the AIDS virus, they took the product off the market in the U.S. and then they dumped it in France, Europe, Asia, and Latin America. The medicine's called Factor 8. It was an, inject an injection medicine that was used for hemophiliacs, mostly children. Children had been born with an incurable disease. Hold on, disease. hold on, Mike. So hold on, hold on. So you're yeah. telling me that Bear knew that this drug was infected with the AIDS virus. At they yanked it from the market in America, and then they dumped it in markets overseas? They had to figure out a way, Joe, to make a profit on a product that they could not sell in America. So they made a huge profit. They, jumped, they dropped the product in Japan, Spain, and France. By the way, Joe, government officials in France that allowed that to happen actually had to go to prison for it. In America, America, not one corporate executive for this company has been indicted or even criminally investigated by our Justice Department. Why not? What, you're telling me that these people that dumped this AIDS-tainted blood in foreign countries yes. who killed children have not been have not been taken to task in the United it's, States. It, it's worse than that. The U.S. government allowed it to happen. The FDA allowed this to happen, and now the government is completely looking the other way. Thousands of innocent hemophiliacs have died from the AIDS virus, and not only they're dying, their family members are dying because they're becoming infected with the disease. This company knew absolutely that they had a problem with the product. They knew that, that it was infected with AIDS. They dumped it because they wanted to turn this disaster into a profit. It's Mike, pretty Mike I, I, I want to read to you what Bear told the New York Times about this scandal. They said, Bear behaved responsibly, ethically, and humanely. Decisions made nearly two decades ago were based on the best scientific information of the time and were consistent with the regulations in place. That sounds like a lot of legal mumbo jumbo. Now you say you have internal documents that show that they knew that this this drug they were dumping was tainted with the AIDS drug? The or, or the AIDS virus? The documents show that there was no question that this company absolutely understood the risk that, that they knew that it was that it was contaminated. It wasn't a possibility. They knew it was contaminated. Americans were dying from the product before it was pulled off the market. The only reason it was pulled, pulled off the market is because lawyers found the documents and showed it to the government and finally the government said you can't sell it here but then the government allowed them to dump it in Spain, France and Japan. That's uh, it's amazing. Pretty, that, it's that's pretty, just amazing. Well, I, I, want, I, I want to read to you what the New York Times said and this is an investigation that they, that they, they also did and they said the federal government was part of the problem while the Food and Drug Administration told the company not to ship the drugs overseas the man responsible for the drug supply quote ask that the issue be quietly solved without alerting the Congress, the med medical community, and the public. This is a cover-up, and our Congress is not doing anything. What should Americans do?